Glory to Jesus Christ. Today we'll be reading the gospel for the 36th Sunday after Pentecost, uh, which is Matthew 15, 21 to 28, and then the commentary from the Blessed Theophylact. So the gospel for the 36th Sunday after Pentecost. Then Jesus went out from there and departed to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan came from that region and cried out to him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, son of David. My daughter is severely demon-possessed. But he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and urged him, saying, Send her away, for she cries out after us. But he answered and said, I was not sent except to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then she came and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It is not good enough, it is not good to take the children's bread and throw it to the little dogs. And she said, Yes, Lord, yet even the little dogs eat the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered and said to her, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be to you as you desire. And her daughter was healed from that very hour. And then the commentary from the Blessed Theophylact. Why did he not allow the disciples to go by way of the Gentiles while he himself went to Tyre and Sidon, which were Gentile cities? Learn then that he did not go there to preach, since, as Mark says, he hid himself. But rather, when he saw that the Pharisees had not accepted his words about food, he went to the Gentiles. The woman said, Have mercy, not on my daughter who is unconscious, but on me who am suffering and experiencing these terrible things. And she did not say, Come and heal, but have mercy. He did not answer her a word, not out of contempt, but to show that he had come in the first place for the Jews, and to shut the mouths of those Jews who might later slanderously accuse him of doing good to Gentiles. He also did not answer her, so that he might reveal the persevering faith of the woman. The disciples were oppressed by the cry of the women, and so begged Christ to send her away. They did this not out of a lack of compassion, but rather with the desire to persuade the Lord to have mercy on her. But he said, I was sent only to the Jews who are lost sheep because of the wickedness of those shepherds to whom they had been entrusted. In this manner, he discloses more fully the faith of the woman. When the woman saw that her advocates, the apostles, had not succeeded, again she approaches fervently and calls upon the Lord. Christ speaks of her as a dog because the Gentiles led an unclean life and were involved with the blood of meat sacrificed to idols, while the Jews he speaks of as children. But she answers wisely and indeed profoundly, Even though I am a dog and not worthy to receive a loaf of bread, that is, a mighty act and a great sign, nevertheless grant this to me, which is a small thing by comparison with your power, though to me it is great. For crumbs are not large in the eyes of those who eat loaves, but to dogs they are large, and they feed on them. Now Jesus shows the reason why he put off healing her at the beginning, so that the faith and understanding of the woman might be made manifest. Christ did not immediately give his assent at the beginning, and even drove her away. But now when her faith has been revealed, she hears the words of praise, Great is your faith, by saying, Be it unto you even as you will. Christ showed that if she had not had faith, she would not have obtained her request. So too, if we desire to obtain something, nothing prevents us from obtaining what we desire. Notice that even if saints should ask on our behalf, as the apostles did for the woman, still we accomplish even more when we ask for ourselves. The Canaanite woman is also a symbol of the church gathered from among the Gentiles. For Gentiles who first were even driven away, later were advanced to the rank of sons and were deemed worthy of the bread, I mean the body of the Lord. While the Jews became dogs, thinking that they were being fed by the crumbs, that is, the minute and insignificant details of the letter of the law. Tyre means besieged, 
Sidon, they who hunt, and Canaan, made ready by humility. Therefore the Gentiles, who were, who were besieged by evil, in that the demons were among them hunting for souls, were also made ready by humility. For the righteous were made ready for the heights of the kingdom of God. And this is the gospel for the 36th Sunday after Pentecost. Glory to Jesus Christ.